Uh, my great-grandfather died this week. I couldn't stand him, actually. Nobody could. Uh, but, but as soon as he passed away, everybody went around saying what a, what a top bloke he was. So I'd like to dedicate this song to you, Gramps. He was very hard of hearing. He was dull and domineering. Misogynous, cantankerous and vain. He hit the bottle every night. He hit my grandma out of spite. And those stories about his bunions were a pain. But all that's now forgotten once he took his final breath. Yes, even pricks turn into top blokes after death. You don't believe me? Allow me to furnish you with a few examples. Steve Irwin lived in khaki, a cartoon kamikaze who taunted crocs and tops so frequently. And Brocky was some rev head who pumped the air with pure lead. So anti-green he drove into a tree. But all that was forgotten once they took their final breath. Yes, even tools turn into top blokes after death. John Lennon chose the hippie life. He chose some nutbag for a wife. And his songs were never quite as good as Paul's. <laughs> Jeff Buckley fooled all lovers. Just one album, mostly covers, with more whaling than Japan does off our shores. But all that was forgotten once he took his final breath. Yes, even wankers turn into top blokes after death. Princess Di was just a slut for sex when they looked in the car wreck. Her dress was wet with Arab semen stains. Stan Zamanik was a racist jock, a fatso xenophobic cock, whose views were more malignant than his brain. But all that was forgotten once he took his final breath. Yes, even assholes turn into top blokes after death. It's not how they live that counts, but how we rewrite the book. When it comes to truth, it's best to use restraint. It pays to throw away the facts and have a rose-coloured look. When he dies, Martin Bryant will look a saint. John Bradman was a total farce, a grumpy, greedy, tired ass who couldn't even score one run last time he played. Kerry Packer was a brothel chief, a tax cheat and a kidney thief. And procreating Jamie was the worst mistake he made. But all that was forgotten once he took his final breath. Yes, even <laughs> turn into top blokes after death. <laughs> Belinda Emmett was a Please. <laughs> I'm Yes. Remember, all will be forgotten once we take our final breath. Yes, even pervert motherfuckers, even rampant child abusers, even local Baghdad looters, even baby bunny rooters, even reckless drunken drivers, even rodent sperm imbibers, even violent poof to bashers, even public penis flashers, even rotting corpse molesters, even human piss ingesters, even tiny kitten kickers, even anal finger lickers, even Anna Bloody Corrin. Yes, even she who will be a top bloke after death. <laughs> Andrew, that brings us to the end of the war for another week and be sure to check out the podcast of tonight's show at abc.net.au slash chaser. Yes, and at the same time you can also download the new Radiohead album In Rainbows. We're offering it on a special pay what we want basis, so it's 200 bucks a copy. <laughs> Thank you very much for your company. We'll catch you again next week. Good night. Bye. Don't go anywhere. The behaviour in the schoolyard will be just as outrageous when the comedy series Summer Heights High continues next on ABC.